Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits. It is finally here. The episode where we deal with the tutorial fight. And learn that this game is kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics and Fire Emblem and Luminous Arc. Yeah, those do not look like squirrels. They look like the unholy fusion of a kangaroo and a rat. Regardless, we're going to have to kill them. Come on, get... How the hell do I... Game start to... Blue represents our travel range, and we can't play the first strike, or strike first blood, or whatever, draw first blood. We can't do jack. Unfortunately, Paulette can't do much of anything either. Although she does have a skill that heals us, should the situation take a turn for the worse. Ah! We're gonna need it for these genetic monstrosities. Let's see what a regular attack does. Prepare yourself. Hi -ya! Card. You got Let's go. Die. <laughs> Just 
justice shall prevail! Indeed it shall, because right after we pick up this item, we're gonna use a special move. It's ours now! May you burn in hell for looking the way that you do. Oh, wind! Grant my sword the power of justice! Fang Breaker Blade! Paulette! aren't something we see every day in, in games like this. Let's go for a more optimal position. Card, I won't let you down. I'm right behind you. Oh great, back attack. Look what we can counter. Justice shall prevail! Ooh, we can do it again. Let's go, Paulette! I'll follow your lead. Alright, who's eyes. first? Wunderbar! I'll take that. Huh. Didn't expect we'd be getting chunk change on the battlefield. But, what you gonna do? We're just starting out. Oh, we can change equipment on the battlefield. That's interesting. Again, you could do the exact same thing in Fire Emblem, and so I guess that's not really a surprise. I'm gonna get in a good attacking position so they can't attack me from behind again. Let's go! Prevail! Huh. I figured since they were we practically standing next to them, we could. I guess we have to wait until the little item thing appears above our heads. Got it! But with that out of the way. Ha! I feel the strength! So yeah, apparently we don't need to kill an enemy in order to level up. All right, I mean, who's we can first? also use skills, but... Ha! Yeah. We... We don't need to... This is a lot like other... Other tactical RPGs. Well, aside from the fact that we don't need to kill an enemy to get stronger. We can just put it in near death state.
let's see, let's talk to this guy. Oh, you got anything else to say? Apparently not. Huh. Well then, I guess given your unique character design and, and the fact that you have a mugshot and a name, that you will in no way be relevant to this game, nor will you be a recurring character. Not much to find here. There's a freaking airship. That, that, that's worth. That's worth trying to get at. Ex that's worth exploring to try and get it out of there. Something tells me we're either going to need a key item or some party member who can lift it for us. Or pull us under or something. Hopefully I will remember to do that. When, when that happens. And by we, I mean I. Now, as much as I want to go to this new location that's opened up, the Garogne Hills, I don't think we're strong enough yet. But we'll get there at some point. Soon enough. For now, let's head home. this video. Oh, I know it probably wasn't much in the grand scheme of things, but we actually made a bit of progress since we got through the tutorial fight. So, I... So, this is Ultra Gamer J signing off. I hope to see you all in the next video, and please remember to like and subscribe for more gaming videos.